Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be heading back to the Sinnoh region and talking about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And more specifically, some new lore revelations that we got in BDSP that didn't exist in the original games Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. Now this is exciting because we were told these were going to be faithful remakes. Now we did get some interesting new stuff like the Grand Underground and some changes to the post game and all of that. And as if you saw my live stream, I experienced some of that with you guys. But we got brand new lore, which not only adds new information to Manaphy's backstory, but also might give us a hint at some new Hisuian Pokemon coming to Legends Arceus. With that being said, let's jump right into things. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you will probably know that one of my favorite parts of the Pokemon franchise is the lore that we get in the games, in the anime, even in the side games that aren't necessarily considered canon, in the movies as well. Lore is my favorite part of Pokemon. I love speculating about the role of mythical Pokemon in ancient times. I love some of the little bits of information we get about Pokemon from the Pokedex, talking about how their relationship and role with humanity formed over the years. All of that stuff is probably my favorite thing to dig into and to speculate about with this franchise. And that is why I'm really excited because in a month or so time, next month, January, we are getting Pokemon Legends Arceus, a game that is set in the past in ancient Sinnoh, so ancient that it has a completely different name. We're going to get to learn so much about this world. We're going to get to learn so much about the history of the relationship between human and Pokemon in this game. And it's an opportunity that we've never had before in the games. We've read books whether it's in the Canalave library or in other locations in the Pokemon world. We've read dialogue from usually older NPCs who tell you about the golden days, the old days of the Pokemon world. We've had all of that plenty, and we've learned about the technology and how it fuels the relationship between people in Pokemon. But in BDSP, we actually learned something new that might connect to that upcoming game, Legends Arceus. If you go to the middle section of the Canalave Library, we got a new piece of lore. And primarily, this is a piece of lore discussing Manaphy. It's giving us some background to the Prince of the Sea that is Manaphy, and how it assisted a person and his Pokemon on a quest. It's a really interesting piece of lore, and there's been a bunch of Pokemon YouTubers who've already covered this in depth, talked about the things that it means for Manaphy and how it kind of contextualizes Manaphy's role in this dichotomy of people and Pokemon in this world. But one thing that they also make note of is a special quillfish. This quillfish has abnormally large spikes on its body. And that's really interesting, and it's really interesting because Ilka and Game Freak specifically chose to make this a piece of lore. This didn't exist in the originals. They could have copy-pasted the Candlelave Library's text into the new game and just gone about their day. They didn't have to give us something new. But the fact that they chose to give us something new that talked about new physical attributes of a Pokemon that we already know exists, when we have a game coming out soon in Legends Arceus that we already know is going to have new forms of old Pokemon, I think at least in my opinion, it's pretty clear that we're going to get a Hisuian Quillfish. Maybe even an evolution of Hisuian Quillfish that the books in Candlelave Library weren't fully aware of was an evolution, maybe because of the rarity or maybe because of how similar it looks to the base form of Quillfish. But I think that's what this is alluding to. Not only are we getting some really cool lore about Manaphy, but we're also getting a hint at a feature coming in an upcoming game, Legends Arceus. This is really cool, and it's something that I hope they do more of with side games and with remakes coming up. Because another thing that I noticed from this piece of lore is it just gave me some really strong Pokemon Mystery Dungeon vibes, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that most of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time. And if you guys are excited for Legends Arceus and you're excited for the connections that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are going to have to Legends Arceus, you're not going to want to miss any video that I upload to this channel. So be sure to subscribe and you won't miss anything. Also, turn that notification bell on and you will be instantly let known when I post a video, which I apologize, have not been very frequent recently, but finals, very stressful. One thing that Pokemon has always done really well as a franchise, as I've mentioned before, is weave lore into all of their games and give the player the ability to theorize and come up with explanations and reasons behind why the world is the way that it is. 
But one of the things that I feel they haven't done incredibly well with is mold that lore into side games and into spin-offs. And when I was reading this text from the Candlelave Library, the franchise of spin-offs that really just spoke to me and really made it feel like we're making some kind of connection to it was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Talking about the person and his, his Pokemon companions going on this quest just really gave me a lot of Mystery Dungeon vibes. And we already know that we've had a Mystery Dungeon game on the Switch. It was the remake of Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. There is another game coming in the franchise. If you go down the timeline of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, the next trio of games that also came out during the release of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Explorers of Darkness, and ultimately the third version which culminated everything and added new content, Explorers of Sky. Explorers of Sky, for those who are not aware, is probably my favorite Pokemon game outside of Platinum. In my opinion, Explorers of Sky has the best story of any Pokemon game, period, whether we're talking side game or if we're talking mainline. It is also in my top five favorite games of all time with the likes of Super Mario Galaxy, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Pokemon Platinum. It's that good. If you've never gotten a chance to play Time, Darkness, or Sky, and Sky's the one I'd recommend, I would highly recommend it. Go get those games if you can play it on the internet, you know, that way that isn't legal. Game Freak, please don't strike my channel down. You could do that too. Or if you have a copy, you can probably find it at your local GameStop or your game store if you're in Europe. They're, they're around. You can find them. Sky, Darkness, and uh, Time all have an incredibly similar story. You're not going to miss out on key features depending on which of them you play. But Sky has a bunch of really cool post-game stuff, some additional pieces to the overall story of some of the characters you meet in the game after you defeat the main story. It's the ultimate version. It's the Platinum of Mystery Dungeon. This is just a hunch, but... The relationship we see between the people and the person in this story almost felt like a double hint. Not only did it directly point to the fact that I think we're getting a new form of quillfish or an evolution of quillfish in Legends Arceus. That's my little, that's what I'm staking my claim on. But I also think the relationship we saw between the people and the Pokemon is alluding to the fact that we're going to get another mystery dungeon game. We're going to get another spin-off game. And in that spin-off game, I think they're going to make some more connections between the world of mystery dungeon and the main Pokemon world. Now, of course, the Mystery Dungeon world is not, it's not canon to the Pokemon world. There's a relationship, like a multiverse universe relationship between the two, but they're not connected. But I believe that the original, the remakes of Pokemon uh, Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team on the Switch did really well. They sold really well and people love those games. The art style was so warmly received when it came out. It's more of an updated, cel-shaded kind of look than the original games, which was on GBA and DS. I think they're gearing up, especially now that we're in Sinnoh mode, to release a remake of Time, Darkness, and or Sky. Some sort of ultimate version with this new art style that we saw in the previous remake on Switch. And I think it's going to give a lot of people an opportunity to experience a truly wonderful Pokemon story for the first time, and I think that is incredible. Now, that's a stretch. There's nothing here context-wise that makes me think it, but I just get such a strong mystery dungeon. That that relationship between two Pokemon going on a quest is really strong here, and a person as well. If you don't know the Mystery Dungeon series, in it, you are a person who becomes a Pokemon. It's all very connected. With that being said, these are just my thoughts. A Hisuian Quillfish seems really likely, and I love that they're building a connection between Legends Arceus and BDSP, because obviously in the original games, we didn't have a Legends Arceus title to build on. They didn't have Legend games in their plans back then. This wasn't this was something they had to create with consultation and development from Ilka. So I really love that they did it, and I think it's really good, and it bodes well for what next year is going to be for the Pokemon franchise. Of course, these are just my thoughts. I would love to know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to Legends Arceus? Do you think we're going to get a Hisuian Quillfish or an evolution of Quillfish that is a Hisuian form? I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. And as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.